Hi everyone, my name is Nadia and today we're going to be talking about screenwriting. More specifically, my favorite screenwriting book, Save, oh, upside down, Save the Cat by Blake Snyder. This is my favorite screenwriting book. The first time I read it was about five years ago. Um, as you can see, it's very, very used. I have a lot of post-its, highlighted sections. This book focuses on story structure, the three act structure, necessary beats and what they are, how to write a log line, how you should come up with the title, for your script and basically all the tools that you need to write a really great story that will sell, that people will make and that audiences will want to see. So we're gonna be specifically talking about the save the cat scene in the beginning of your film and why that's so important. But first off, who is Blake Snyder? He was a screenwriter in Hollywood. He actually passed away in 2009, but during his lifetime, he was known for writing and selling spec scripts and also for writing this book, Save the Cat, which is honestly a very, very popular and well-known screenwriting book in this industry. Now, what is the Save the Cat scene? It's in the beginning of your script. And it is important because the Save the Cat scene will get the audience on board and get them to like your main character. It is important for your audience to like your main character because you want them to root for them. You don't want them to hate the main character because as a result, they're not gonna be interested in following their story. This is also important even if you have an anti-hero as your main character, you need the audience on board. Basically what the Save the Cat scene is, is you introducing your main character and showing that character doing an act of kindness, something good, something that basically gets us to like your main character. These can be big acts of kindness, they can be very subtle, just humorous things. An example that he gives is the movie Aladdin, a lot of us have seen, but basically Aladdin is not the greatest guy. He breaks rules, you know, traditionally he's not that type of character that we will like, but we do like him and we want him to win. And the reason is because in the beginning of Aladdin, what the writers do is they show Aladdin steal something. The palace guards are chasing him and then he wins and he hides away in this alley and he's about to eat his bread that he just stole. But then he sees these two poor children who are looking at his bread longingly, they are hungry. And so what he does is give away all of his bread to these two children. So now we're thinking, hmm, yeah, Aladdin might be a thief, but he seems like a guy with a good heart. And so that gets us to like Aladdin, like the main character, like your hero, so that way we're willing to follow him on his journey. Another one of my favorite examples personally is in The Hunger Games, Katniss volunteers as tribute to save her little sister from going into the Hunger Games, from dying. That is a huge save the cat moment. And that gets us to like Katniss and want her to win because in this movie or in this book series, she she's not exactly the friendliest character. She's a little bit hard headed. She's a little bit stubborn, but her volunteering as tribute to save her little sister gets us to root for her throughout the entire film because she will have to go through a lot during this film and possibly even kill some people in order to win for her little sister. And without that save the cat scene, if Katniss was just picked out in her name and she was the unlucky one to go into the Hunger Games, we wouldn't be rooting for her as much, but we root for her because she sacrificed herself for her little sister. Those two are my favorite Save the Cat examples. So yeah, Save the Cat, it's an important plot point in the beginning of your story. And it's something that I always like to keep in mind, something that I learned from Blake Snyder's book, Save the Cat, and I learned a lot of other important beats that you need to follow in your script. And it's interesting, after you learn all these beats and learn the story structure, you start to notice it in all these films that you once watched or even in new films. You're like, oh my gosh, there's the save the cat moment I never noticed. And, and there it is. And they're following all the plot points. I think Disney does it really, really well. A lot of Disney films will follow the structure perfectly. A lot of big Hollywood movies will follow structure. Now, some people can say this makes movies predictable. This makes movies boring. This doesn't, this, this makes me lose my artistic voice when I have to follow structure. And okay, I think there's a way to follow structure but still be unique about it. Basically structure is there to get your audience on board, feel what you want them to feel. 
without that structure, they can get lost, they can get confused. And even if you want to break the rules, which is totally okay and totally great, you need to know why you're breaking out of that structure. So uh, sorry, that ends my rant of why structure is so important, but basically you will learn the structure in Save the Cat. It's a very, very easy read. I'll leave the link down below in the description to where you can purchase this book, but it's a very popular book. You might be able to find it in your local library. And yes, if you guys like this video, if you want me to talk more about screenwriting tips, let me know. I think story at the end of the day is the most important thing in your film, in your television show, short film, whatever it is you are telling, story is so important. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please also go check out my new video on IGTV, Instagram's new video platform. Form. I review the new Jurassic World movie with my friend and I plan on making a lot more videos on that platform as well. I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe. I make new videos every single Thursday and I will see you guys next week. Bye guys. Yeah.